First of all, uh, very warm welcome to all of our blogger friends and our friends from media. Today is a very important day for us when we are going to launch our uh, flagship smartphone uh, phone. And uh, it becomes all the more important because uh, it becomes all the more important because uh, this phone is developed completely through our in-house R&D. Before we move on to product details, let me uh, take you through the journey so far very briefly and then we'll move on to the product presentation. So in a short span of five years, uh, Lava has become one of the fastest growing uh, mobile phone company in India. Uh, in year 2014-15, we posted a, a group turnover of uh, 1.2 billion dollars, which was a growth of uh, more than 100% over last financial year. In India alone, uh, we posted a growth of more than 150% uh, in financial year 14-15. Now we'll talk about briefly about our product strategy. Uh, it is quite inherent to human beings uh, to be associated with things which are aesthetically beautiful. Uh, in, like in our day-to-day -day life, everybody wants to look better, look smart, look beautiful. And since this device is getting more and more engaging, people are spending more and more time with this, this device. And uh, we thought that this is a very powerful thought. Uh, to build on, uh, to build our brand proposition on aesthetics. So that is why, you know, uh, around one and a half years back, we started building our uh, product philosophy uh, on this, like we put the art in smart. And in last one and a half years, we have churned out, you know, uh, one after another beautifully looking products. And uh, because of our in-house R&D, uh, we are able to make beautiful products because of uh, uh, the technology side also. Very proud to say that we are the only Indian company which has uh, complete in-house R&D capability. Like this means that we can devise uh, products end-to-end, -end, right from concept, by understanding consumer needs in India, and uh, then you know uh, from hardware design, from software design, from industrial design, uh, managing the supply chain, and uh, right up till assembly and launch to market. So we can manage the entire thing end-to-end. We have our teams, R&D teams in China, in Bangalore, and in Noida. Um, we are also investing a lot in, in R&D development in future as well. Uh, another key differentiator, you know, uh, for our brand is people. Uh, we have always focused on hiring the right kind of talent and uh, <coughs> nurturing uh, the talent in-house. Uh, we have, as we speak, we have more than 6,000 R&D people uh, in, in, uh, in China itself, and uh, we have you know four promoters uh, which have uh, experience of more than decades, uh, experience of more than two decades, and they come from very diverse background. And even top leadership team is uh, you know hired from uh, uh, top companies like it. differentiator is people. The next big differentiator is uh, our single layer distribution model. Um, as you know, like all the handset companies, they have uh, multi-layer distribution model wherein, you know, uh, they have large distributors which are catering to small distributors which are in turn catering to retailers. 
But in our case, you know, uh, we, we don't have this inefficiency and we are able to pass on the complete value by managing more than 1,000 distributors per year. And uh, this gives us, you know, uh, a lot of advantage that there is no value which is being lost in the entire chain. And we can only, uh, we are able to only do this because of our uh, IT capability and our people's training. In terms of service, I think another key differentiator is service. And uh, uh, we have more than 1,000 service centers in the country. We have always taken pride in, in delivering quality products and, uh, and you know, serving the consumer efficiently through our very strong network. Recently, through online portal, you know, there was a survey which was done in, uh, in, the, in the top service center across the country. And uh, it came out significantly that Lava tops the chart in terms of uh, product quality and after sales service. So we just touched upon uh, service. The next one is uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, the manufacturing which is going to shift in India. That is called Make in India. So Lava's uh, vision is to you know establish a world class manufacturing uh, facility to delight customers with best in class quality products, technology and service at competitive price by developing ecosystem and creating local employment finally to add value to stakeholders. We'll talk more about that, that why, it not, why this manufacturing is shifting to India. You know, uh, like bulk of the electronic manufacturing and mobile phone manufacturing was uh, happening in China and uh, as the Chinese economy is developing uh, over the years, they are losing uh, their competitive edge in terms of uh, low cost uh, manufacturing. Because of per capita income rising, uh, the, the overall cost of manufacturing in India is, is actually increasing a lot. And there is not much difference now in terms of producing a product in China and uh, in comparison to other developed countries. So this gives a very good opportunity to develop uh, you know, manufacturing in India. And uh, uh, because of which you, know, you have seen a lot of initiatives in the last one, one and a half years through government side and from industry side in which uh, 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 manufacturing of a lot of electronic products are shifting to India. Uh, we started our manufacturing around eight months back in India and uh, a very important thing you know, to note is that our overall you know, failure rates have come down a lot whenever a product is manufactured in India in our manufacturing facility and all this is possible and there is a, a significant drop. You know, the red line is, uh, is uh, from products in China, the failure rates and uh, the blue line is uh, the products, the failure rates of products which are coming from uh, China. So you can see there is a significant drop, you know, in, in all the products which are manufactured in India. This is possible because of our, you know, uh, quality focus in our manufacturing uh, facility, which we have recently started. And I can tell you, like, this is just the beginning. You know, it has, it has been just eight months. And uh, we are going to come up with uh, a lot of, uh, you know, um, uh, a lot better manufacturing facility in future, in which this thing can only improve from here. So this is our Make in India roadmap. You know, we have uh, recently, you know, earmarked close to 50 acres near Yamuna Expressway, and this facility will come up in around three to four years. And we are we are also going to invest in a plant in uh, Tirupati. Right now, we are uh, churning out close to 800 to 900 k smartphones per month. And uh, we started this initiative in April, and uh, in, from April to December, we have really actually we are, we are following our plans because of which you know uh, a lot of shift has happened from uh, China uh, produced products to India produced products. Overall we are going to invest uh, 2600 crores in a phased manner. Uh, uh, so, so we have different phases like in first phase one we will invest close to 100 crores which will go on to 1100 crores in phase two and which will go on to uh, 2600 crores uh, in phase three, when uh, our manu overall manufacturing facility will increase to 18 million per month. Talking about our global uh, footprint, we are not just operating in India. Right now, we are present in nine countries uh, like Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Thailand, Dubai, Mexico, Myanmar, and Indonesia. And very proud to say that uh, Lava is number one smartphone brand in Thailand. This happened recently. Uh, for a, for a quite a long time, you know, we were at number two position, but uh, recently we have come to number one smartphone position. Uh, 
these are some uh, recognitions, you know, like uh, we were declared the most trusted smartphone brand. We also received uh, a lot of awards on, uh, on on the quality and service uh, front, and we were also rated uh, uh, by by Brand Equity recently among the top 100 most exciting brands in India. So I think that was a brief, uh, um, you know, summary of the journey so far. And uh, now we'll move on to the product part. As I mentioned, a very proud moment for us that uh, we are going to launch a, a flagship 4G phone, which is uh, completely developed by our in-house R&D team. And uh, you know, uh, building on uh, like recently, around you know, a quarter back, we launched uh, V2. V2 was primarily you know focused or positioned on camera. Now, building from uh, you know uh, V2, uh, we are going to launch this product today. We'll talk more about it in, uh, in, in, in you know coming moments. And uh, so, like camera has become a very integral part of uh, now consumers' life. And uh, so, we thought that let us up the end and uh, improve camera features even higher in our in our, in our new offering. So uh, I will now hand over uh, to Adarsh, and uh, who will who will who will showcase our new product, which is Lava V5 uh, 4G, and this is the product. Hi, thanks a lot, sir. Am I audible to everyone? Yeah. Uh, thanks a lot, sir, for the introduction. Uh, uh, and good morning everyone. Today we are here for the launch of Lava V5 4G. It is our uh, latest offering and uh, in all senses it is our flagship product now. Uh, before going into the technical details of Lava V5, I wanted to spend two minutes to talk about who is it for? Who did we make the product for? So we went back and we realized that our Indian consumers, they are the evolution of Indian consumers in the smartphone journey has already happened. It's developing day by day. And there are two major areas that we wanted to focus on for Lava V5. The first area is camera. More and more people want to take pictures on the go. And very importantly, like we talked about in V2, great pictures are not created, they're captured. Great moments are not created, they're captured. So we wanted to make a phone where you can capture moments as and when they happen and reproduce it for your later life. And the second area where we wanted to work upon is user experience. User experience in, in terms of getting a premium feel out of your product. Your product passing the uh, spec to price game and moving to an area where you get a sense of ownership. You know, the pride of ownership. So we moved to Lava V5 because best pictures make the best memories. Uh, don't let your memories get blurred. You would have seen that you know suddenly there's a picture in a party that you want to take. There's a moment that you want to capture right away, but your fo camera has not focused quick enough. So you eventually get you are you left behind with a blurred image. We don't want that. So you use Lava V5 to get a perfect in the moment shot. Introducing Lava V5 4G, it comes with a 30 megapixel super fast. Uh, Autofocus. I'll explain a little bit more. So, Lava V5 4G comes with a Samsung ISOCELL sensor. This is a sensor which you would have seen in a lot of flagship devices. One of the most important things about this sensor is that it comes with PDAF. A lot of us would know PDAF basically stands for Face Detection Autofocus. It basically means that your camera can focus on any object very quickly. In our case, in 0.18 seconds. In general, in the industry, the cameras that you have, they focus in about 0.5 seconds. So this is three times faster than any smartphone camera that you would have used. Make every moment last forever. The phone comes with a 13 megapixel Samsung ExoCell uh, sensor camera with dual LED flash. It also comes with an 8 megapixel front camera, a selfie camera with flash. That again is coming out from the research that we've done and more and more consumers want a flash in the front camera. This is the rear camera. It comes with, you know, 
Yeah, before going into this, we want to sort of move away from the pure spec of 30 megapixel defining the whole camera. That's just a part of it. The more important parts of it are the aperture, the lens that we use. You're using an f2.0 aperture, it's a bigger aperture than you know the normal lenses that we find, the normal aperture that we find, around 66% more light. It has a larger lens with blue glass filter with dual LED flash. The front camera, it is an 8 megapixel front camera with flash. It has f2.2 aperture, 4 key larger lens with blue glass filter and LED flash. So just to go into the details a little bit more, uh, you know, as we know, aperture basically means it controls the amount of light that is entering into your camera. Essentially, more light equal to more information. More information is equal to a better and more clear image. So bigger aperture means, if, as compared to an f2.4, it gives 66% more light. Uh, then we've got blue glass filter. Now, you know, you would have normally seen that when you take your phone and you point it out, point it to a you know luminous object or a tube light or any of these lights, you see that the light gets scattered. You will not see that in our case. You will be seeing that the, you know, you will be able to get a perfect image and you will also be able to get a much clearer image. That's because of the blue glass filter. Now, ISOCELL. We would have heard about ISOCELL. It's a term that has been marketed by Samsung quite a lot. It is a technology using which the Samsung sensor actually has walls between pixels. What that does is that it reduces crosstalk. Basically, between pixels, the 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 colors they do not overlap each other. The end result is that you get a true reproduction of your subject. You know, there's a much better color reproduction. We got a white selfie. Your uh, front camera has a 84 degree white selfie, so you can get more people in your selfie. You can get like your whole group in the part of the selfie. Now, those were all hardware capabilities, but to get the consumer just wants more. We want to we want to give more. So we introduce our software capabilities, which we call Magic Pix. I'm sure you would have seen that in Pixel V2 also. We're just taking the story ahead. Beautifier. A lot of you would see that a lot of uh, Photoshop tools. There are tools that you can alter images after you've taken them, but those are all post-processing images. This is a pre-processing tool where you can you can you go thin your face, you can darken your face, you can whiten your face, you can sort of remove smudges from your face, uh, and you can sort of change the you know size of your eyes, etc. And you can see the images before you take them. So you can see that in the preview itself. It's a very valuable tool for taking selfies that you want to put on your storyline or timeline. Wide angle selfie, I've already talked about the fact that the hardware supports 84 degree wide angle, but we've taken that again a step ahead. We've taken a wide angle selfie mode, you know, it basically is is something similar to your panoramic mode. You can in your in your rear camera you can just take a panoramic mode, move your camera around, and you will be able to get a bigger picture. In this case, we've done that with the front camera. You can take your front camera, swivel it around, and you will have a huge group and you can get all of them close to about 120 degrees. Big focus is something that is also called bokeh mode. You know, you see a lot of professional photographers do it. You can take a picture. If I'm here in the foreground, this is in the background, you can fill out the background and keep me in focus. That is something, you know, again, a good effect that you want to show on your timeline, Facebook or something. Then there's a night pro mode. What we want to show in the night pro mode is not just, you know, illuminating the object, but it also shows the true color of the images, even in low light. And that is something quite rare. You can use a flash to simply illuminate an object, but to reproduce colors in low light is difficult, and that's what we've done in our product here. It's a 4G product, it's a CAD 4 4G LTE product, and it will be photo uh, volt upgradable. So VOLT is a technology that you will soon see in a lot of devices that will be coming up. Reliance will be coming out uh, with VOLT support in its network. Our device will be able to support it. We'll be providing a photo upgrade because the software is yet to come from the chipset manufacturer. And then the device will be compatible. Basically, this device is compatible with all networks that are available in the country. It's a 5.5 inch device, HD IPS full lamination. Uh, it has typical value of 450 lumens, which basically means the brightness intensity from your phone. And uh, it can go up to a maximum of 550 lumens. What does it mean in functional value? Is that if you're out in the sun and you look at the product, if you look at the screen, you'll not see a very dim screen. You'll be able to see the screen properly. That's something, you know, these are things that add to the user experience. These are not things that we normally talk about 
when it comes to smartphones. But it adds value because these give a more premium feel to the product that we are using. Feather touch. Now, this is again something that we wanted to highlight. The device has GFF touch. It's glass film and film. It's, a, it's used in very few products. It's one of the top technologies that you can use to make your experience quite good with the phone. It's a five point touch. It helps with gaming. It helps with your regular usage. You will be able to get a very good feel about your phone when you use it. Uh, it has Corning Gorilla Glass 3. I think we don't really have to talk about it. Everyone knows Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Basically, you can drop your phone as much as you want. And it has a 3 GB RAM and 16 GB ROM. It can be further extended to 32 GB ROM. So, you know, it's basically the, the whole works. You can play games. Uh, you can play the best games that are available. You can use 4G, browse internet. You can have multiple applications running at the same time. It's the whole works. Uh, yeah, get ready to be mesmerized. Something that you would notice about this phone when you first open it is that it's very elegant, it's very sleek. You've got, there we've used multiple elements. We've got, we used premium alloys to make the phone light. Uh, it has metal on the sides uh, with CNC finish so that you know you get a tiny tinge of shine when you are sort of using it. Uh, and you know, there's small things like a CNC grill on the back so that your speaker you know, looks good. The whole design looks very elegant. Yeah, and this is a very important thing. This again is a common complaint that you want your phone to last longer and longer. You want your phone to last the whole day, probably even more than that. That's why we put a 3000 mAh lithium polymer battery, which is safe. Uh, it will be running good performance throughout the day. You can, nowadays consumers are using 4G throughout the day. They are taking pictures. It's a big screen. You want to watch videos and movies throughout the day. It all does that. What is more is that we've gone a step higher in terms of software. We normally have a power saver mode, right? In Android or iPod, normally it does that. But we've also added is a super power saver mode. As you know, we've, Lava has its own operating system called StarOS, which is like a layer over Android Lollipop. This one has StarOS 2.0 based on Android Lollipop 5.1. It has a super power saver mode, which will basically be used when you've got very little battery left and you have you can use only certain applications in that mode. But it'll make sure that you can at least receive calls when your battery is basically dying down. It is upgradable to Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Uh, we currently have Android Lollipop 5.1, and on top of it sits our StarOS 2.0. So our next phase will also use this uh, development where higher version of StarOS will be based on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. It will be coming via Photo Upgrade. You know, StarOS has a lot of other functionalities too. We've got a grid camera, which we call a star camera. We've already talked about the features. But you can do other stuff as well. You can sort of just just type a C and your you know, your camera will open up. You can double tap to open. There's a lot of other features as well. It's a 64-bit 1.3 gigahertz quad-core processor, MediaTek based. Uh, again, this 64-bit uh, processor is quite fast and is faster than a 32-bit processor that has been in smartphones for quite a while. And apart from this, you also have an accessory. We're also providing a flip cover that you can buy from any of the outlets that you want. It's an intelligent flip cover. Basically, it'll have a window here. It'll have a square window, which will also have a cover. Normally, your square windows don't really have a cover. And your menu options will come up. You can make calls, receive calls. We're also giving a software upgrade so that you can take pictures from here. You can get you know uh, other elements. You can basically use your phone right from your window itself. Yeah, I should have waited for a second before I did this, but the price of the product is for a customer. Uh, you can get this product at 11,499 rupees. The MRP of the product is 30,000, uh, but it is available across the country, across all channels, uh, online, and basically a store near your house. So that's it for me. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to take it up. Thanks a lot.